Hey everybody, welcome back to the Pujols Kitchen. I'm Deidre Pujols and today I am joined by two of my good friends, Jan Demuth and Adi Okendo. And um, Adi is actually the daughter of the third base coach, Jose Okendo, who is my husband's coach on the St. Louis Cardinals. So um, we're going to make chimichurri burgers and chimichurri burgers are common in the Dominican Republic. And I have my own version that I've come up with. Audie's going to help explain how we put these burgers together. And I'm going to eat. <laughs> this is the dish that we've been waiting for. So when everybody's been talking about and I'm just dying to try it out. And I have to admit I'm a little intimidated just standing here. You guys both look so professional with your <clears throat> chef's jackets on and all that. Well, but Jan. But that's okay. I'll just stand here. Oh, no, Jan. We can't let you cook ah. without covering yourself up. So we got ah. you the grits apron. Now you're My, part of the team. Now I'm part of the team. <laughs> you're official. I promise not to touch anything though, really. <laughs> okay, we'll where hold do, you to that. Where do we start, guys? <laughs> all right, well, we've got some ground beef, some all season salt, cumin, chili powder, an egg, cilantro with lemon juice, and a diced onion. We're going to mix all that in a good bowl here. And we've got some already made. I'm going to go ahead and just form a couple of the patties for you so you can see kind of how it's done. You want to flatten a little bit and kind of smooth the outside so now yeah. Adi you went to school for this right yes you are professionally trained <laughs> burger former in Puerto Rico yes I did go to school and uh, now we're having little timers going off because we got some other stuff going mm -hmm. on some other things cooking that we'll show you in just a few minutes here what actually got you into cooking what made you so interested in doing it well uh, my dad actually told me to uh, find a job I would do for free Ah, and uh, I cook for free already at home quite a bit <laughs> so um, I thought you know I love to cook now I would definitely do this for free so now Albert makes me make food for him and his buddies that come into town on the visiting <laughs> teams does your dad call you up and ask you to make food for oh, yeah. him and his buddies oh yeah <laughs> my my mom is always making rice and we're always trying to rush to the grocery store at the last minute yeah. to you know get that done so well, that is awesome. Are those so, about ready to be put on the pan? Yep, they're ready. I'm going to go ahead and take them back. Okay, wonderful. This is such a popular dish in the Dominican, isn't it? It is. You know, um, I got introduced to chimichurri burgers when, when I went down with Albert for the first time. After about 6 o'clock in the evening, all these chimichurri carts are out on the street, and anybody who's from the Dominican knows what I'm talking about. Really? Um, but I, you know, I know that here in America we like big, beefy burgers. That's quarter pounders. This is what we're known for. So I went ahead and came up with my own version and um, really felt like there were similar flavors, flavors that people on the island would use. And um, my family loves them. Dee Dee, it's a good thing your stove is so big because Adi almost doesn't have enough room to cook those hamburgers. What, um, what are these? <laughs> They're huge. <laughs> those are calderos. And anybody that is anybody from Latin America should know what these pots are. In the Dominican Republic, it doesn't matter what, if I go into an impoverished village or if I am in the city, anybody and every woman that has a kitchen in the Dominican will have these pots. It is um, really a staple in how the food comes out. I think it's important um, the way the rice is cooked, the way the meat is cooked, and um, frankly, I just, you know, I really enjoy cooking in them, and uh, Albert enjoys the food that I make in them. Especially when the baseball team comes over, huh? Especially, and that's when a big pot like that makes sense. Okay, are those ready? Perfect ready. timing, yay. Oh, they look wonderful. Now, in addition to these hamburgers, instead of a traditional French fry that you'd find in, you know, your everyday burger joint, we're going to make pinwheels and um, the pinwheels take literally seconds to fry up and to get big and that's what we're going to serve with the burgers and the presentation and your friends will love them okay so let me show you how we're going to do that here we have the pinwheels and i showed you earlier that you know they're kind of hard right now and they're, they're and they, small, look like they look like candy like <laughs> candy but they're not and you don't want to get too many because once they start to fry they get big and your fryer will fill up so we're just going to drop some in there and a few more we're gonna drop that down into the oil and you stay right by it because immediately they're gonna to start to sizzle and then they're gonna to start to poof up. If you can see how they start to bubble like that, that's a good thing. They're gonna start oh. making noise, puffing up. Oh my gosh. And if you wanna just push them back down into the oil for two seconds, these will be the hit of the party. That's the fun cooking. Yes, we're gonna take those out. Drain a little bit of that oil, and we're going to put them into our pretty bowl. And one's got trapped. Could we even add those on top of the hamburger? Or no, not really. It's more like, more for the kind of fry substitute. My friend, you can do whatever you want with these, but they're really fun. 
Well, first <laughs> we gotta add our lemon. We got um, our lemon press here. We'll just sprinkle a little bit of lemon juice on here. Hear that sizzle? And I know you're gonna put hot sauce on them because you put hot sauce on everything. My favorite <laughs> hot sauce. <laughs> Knew that was coming. This is how they taste the best. No doubt. And uh, so that's all. That is all those took. So we'll finish making the burger. Ah, do you want to tell us how to finish them off? Sure. We've got a couple of them already made here. Go ahead and put one together. We're making music. Yeah. We, we are a band. <laughs> <laughs> we like to be loud. We've got our mayo and ketchup mixture here, equal parts of each. And then tell us what happens with the cabbage here. We have cabbage and not lettuce like you find on a regular hamburger, right? right? We uh, wilted this cabbage in some water. It's really quick and it's a really good Does it have to change. be hot water? Can it be cold water? Hot water, of course, on the stove. We have tomato and then now I know. before you top that I off, know what Jan wants I on I get my order. favorite. Ah, uh, avocado, avocado or avocado? I, no, <laughs> avocado. avocado. Right. See, what happens is it's avocate in Spanish. So I kind of just do my Spanglish well, and mix I like it up. your way. <laughs> there, now all that's right. ready. So, the toothpick. Hold it all together. Look at that mountainous burger. And That's then awesome. something fun oh. for your friends in the presentation, just um, just like you would do french fries, you just take your pinwheels. And the, the fryer's telling us the it fryer, wants more of these onions and pinwheels. pinwheels in it. <laughs> and you just put them around like that and you guys will be surprised at how impressed your friends will be. Now the best so, part, dig in. So now we get to dig in. Oh. Who gets the first? try. <laughs> okay, you know it's going to be me. I'm sorry, but I have to taste everything. Thank you for sharing another wonderful dish with us. Oh.